Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE runs in Windows and makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE Features and Overview and Composer HE Basics videos before you start to use the Media View. This video assumes that Composer HE is already installed and open on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 owner's website. So now I'll click on the Media button to go to the Media View. The Media View lets you add your music and movies metadata to your system so you can play music, watch videos, create playlists, set up a regular media scanning schedule, add radio stations and TV channels, and more from your navigators. On the left, notice the media-related items in your project tree. I'll show you some examples about how to use these items. The items shown will vary depending on what media devices you have in your system. Media scanning options lets you scan your stored media to the system. Stored holds the metadata for the media contents on your external storage devices, CD or DVD changers, media player, USB drives, or music stored on an HC1000 V3 hard drive in a variety of formats. Broadcast holds the metadata for your cable and satellite stations, AM, FM, and Sirius radio stations, internet radio stations, UHF and VHF channels, cable TV, and more. Playlists lets you create playlists from your stored media. You can also export or import media lists and playlists from the menu bar. You can also add details about stations, albums, or songs, and add colorful artwork such as album covers and TV channel icons so you can find your favorite media quickly. Your dealer will add your media devices to your project, and you'll see them in the media tree. Either you or your dealer can scan your media so your system recognizes your albums, songs, movies, and so on. I'm going to use an external hard drive called Seagate Free Agent Desktop to scan the files I want to play in my system. First, I'll select Media Scanning Options in the tree. I'm going to set up the scanning schedule. I want to scan my music every seven days at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Under Files to Scan, I'll select Seagate Free Agent Desktop. If I want to add any media extensions that aren't in the extensions list, I click Add, then Add those extensions. That way, media with those extensions will be recognized and added to the file scan. Next, I'll check the boxes below Files to Scan and click Apply so my changes are saved. Now, to start the scan, I'll click Start scan. I'll get a message when the scan finishes. If I want to stop in the middle of the scan, I can click Stop scan. After the media files are added, they scan automatically. Be aware that this could take some time, depending on how much media you want to add to your system. You can scan just the files you want to play, add new albums and stations anytime you purchase new music, and then edit any or all of your media items. When the scan finishes, I'll click Seagate Free Agent Desktop in the project tree to view the songs or albums I just added. At this point, you may want to refresh your navigators by clicking File, then Refresh Navigators in the menu bar. That way, the metadata will sync and display on your navigators. Note that you can also add and scan files in this view. For example, if you've added new songs to your drive and you want to scan them now, you can do that. And you can add edit or delete songs and albums and associated information about them. Now I'll go to a navigator and select Listen and My Music to play my songs. 
because I can't play them directly from Composer HE. Here, I'm showing what it looks like on my home PC, showing the list and albums. To add radio stations, under Broadcast, click AM or FM Radio. In this case, I'll click AM and then click Search. I'll enter my home's zip code in the box and then click Search. My home is where my system is located, so I'll use my home's zip code. I'll select the AM stations I want and then click OK. You do the same thing for Sirius Audio and other media selections. If you'd like to, you can edit a station that you've added. Just click Edit or right click on the station. I'll talk more about that later in this video. Now I'll refresh my navigators so the stations show up in them. I'll go to a navigator and tap Listen, then Stations, and select the station I want to listen to. To add an internet station, under Broadcast, I'll click Internet Radio and New. Now I'll fill out the form under Station Name, Description, Channel, Genre, Cover Art, and so on. This next part is a little tricky and sometimes requires some searching on the radio station's website. In the channel box, I'll go to the actual radio station, locate the URL that streams music from that station, and then copy and paste the URL in the box. If you can't find the correct URL, your dealer can help. Be aware that sometimes the signal to internet radio stations breaks up or cuts out. This is normal. When I've filled in the boxes I want, I'll click OK. Next, I'll refresh my navigators. I'll go to a navigator and tap Listen, then Stations, and select the internet station I just set up. Here's a tip. Control 4 supports TuneIn, which streams music, podcasts, and more worldwide. To use TuneIn, you'll first need to create a free account at TuneIn.com. Then, refer to the TuneIn setup or the TuneIn user guide at the Owner's Resources page on the Control 4 website for setup instructions. It's much easier to set up TuneIn than to set up internet radio stations. To add cable or satellite channels, under Broadcast, I'll click Dish Network, and then click Search. Now, I'll enter my home's zip code in the box, and then click Search. If you'd like to, you can edit a channel you selected. Just click Edit, and then make your changes. Next, I'll refresh my navigators. I'll go to a navigator and tap Watch, then Channels, and then select a channel to watch on my TV. You can create a playlist from the songs or albums you've already scanned into your system. To set up a playlist from TuneIn or another internet music service, talk to your dealer. In the Media menu, I'll select New Playlist, or you can hover over and right-click Playlist in the Media tree, select New Playlist, and then rename it. I'll enter a name for my new playlist. Next, I'll select the storage device where the songs are currently stored. I'll drag the songs I want to add from the device over to the new playlist. And if I want to, I can edit my new playlist. Now, I'll refresh my navigators. Next, I'll go to a navigator and tap Listen, then My Music, then More, then My Playlists, and select the songs in my playlist. You can add meaningful descriptions and cover art to each album, song, radio station, cable or satellite channel, and so on. I'll double-click the device to edit my media's metadata. In this case, I'll select the Seagate drive. I'll select the album to edit, and then click Edit, or double-click my selection to open the edit page. I'll edit the information in the boxes. Most of the information is already there but I want to add something in the genre box. 
To add cover art, I'll click Find Art File. Often, the art comes with the station when you add it. To import the art, you'll have to have the file on your local or an external hard drive. I'll locate the file on my computer, and then click OK. Next, I'll review the information I just added, and then click OK. Here's a tip. You can clear the media list by right-clicking on the item in the Media Project tree and selecting Clear Media List. However, be careful if you do this, as it will remove all of the items in the right pane. So those are the basics about how to use the media view. Once you start using this view, you'll enjoy adding and editing your selections. Watch for upcoming Composer HE videos to learn how to use the agents and create exciting programs.